uh, I was actually waiting for the other recording to be processed. Otherwise, there can be some uh, overlapping and PC response really slow in those scenarios. So, it's a bit of a trouble. So, I have a look. Uh, this is the this is the first oscilloscope question that we're gonna deal with. So let's have a look over here and let's see if we can solve this thing. The first thing that they are asking, do I label diagram on the basic structure of a cathode oscilloscope? This is a pretty old question. That's why they're asking you this thing. Practically speaking, you don't essentially have to be able to draw this, but just to make sure that you answer this question, there are a couple of specific component that you have to have labeled in your figure for the cathode oscilloscope. Now, what are those components? We can look it up in the Mars scheme. I'm ready to jump into the Mars scheme just to show you that which are the components that necessarily have to be labeled in your question in your in your drawing in your, so that you can score full marks out of this question so basic complete outline shape vacuum labeled fluorescent screen labeled x and y press labeled filament and or cathode correctly labeled to be filament label cathode label anode as paired with the hole or cylinder labeled so anode should be labeled as a cylinder uh, some in some series uses as a cylinder as well, or there has to be a central hole at the canon. You know, so these are the six different points that by which the examiners are going to mark you. The most common mark that the kids lose is the vacuum labeling, because they draw pretty much everything. So everything is labeled. Vacuum is not drawn. Vacuum has to be labeled from where? From a, from a blank space from inside the tube, you have to label the vacuum so labeling the vacuum is the most commonly forgotten labeling and kids lost lose this mark i mean most common i mean kids who do a very do grab good graph and they know their stuff about the cro if they lose one mark this is the mark the location where they lose the mark <coughs> so if you go forward describe how the electrons of the oscilloscope are emitted given kinetic energy equals to basic thermodynamic emission and then the electric field or the high voltage source uh, which are going to discuss about I want to, to I want to do this calculation. So have a let's have a look over here. Figure ten point one shows a trace obtained in an oscilloscope screen. Figure ten point one shows a trace obtained in an oscilloscope screen. The time base is set at ten millisecond per centimeter. Now one of the things that you need to understand that these graphs for CRO, if the question graph, I mean if the graph is not labeled that how much is one centimeter, when this graph will be printed by one hundred percent. Let's say if I give you show you this as one hundred percent, let's say one hundred. Now Okay, 100 is not actually 100. So this has, this is not essentially 100. Is it 100? It's not 100. I think it is 100. Well, what am I saying? Kids, can you, or can you, uh, can you push the, you cannot because pixel would not be okay. No, never mind. You cannot do this for an online class, <coughs> but whenever I'll print this in full 100% printout, each of these box length is going to be, uh, of each of the box dimension is going to be one centimeter. So if the question doesn't label, give you the give you a labeling on the grid that how much is one centimeter, you can always assume that each grid has a length of one centimeter. So in this case, this is the time base is set at 10 minutes per centimeter. So first thing I want to ask you, time base is the name of which axis? X axis or the Y axis? X axis. X axis. X axis. X axis. So this means on the X axis, every horizontal segment, every centimeter, Will represent 10 milliseconds. Exactly. Will represent 10 milliseconds. So other than going into the question, if you can have a look over here, that you can see one full cycle is taking five divisions. One full cycle is taking five divisions, then one full cycle is taking another five divisions. So in this case, the time period for one cycle is gonna be 50 milliseconds. And then it can, it can take, go on further from this point onwards. So that's going to be how it is. So it says that the remember the time for one computer session on the screen. So you're just going to write one simple calculation. 5 into 10 equals to 50 milliseconds. Shash. You get this mark. So Sir, Abakoban, please. 5 multiplication 10 equals to 50, 50 milliseconds. Bucho. Yes, sir. Sir, directly lit like in mark that way. No, directly liba. Sir, that waves are worksheet or not? No, waves are worksheet. Our other CR related kind of calculation asks. We calculation we do, we waves. Take a jam. Correct. CR. That's why we talk about waves. Because CR. We are in part chapter. So it's not going to be a very far, far, far each part. Sir, in part chapter atomic physics. No. In part chapter atomic physics. Yes. 
So the number one, time. I'm going to write the answer for one is like this. 5 into 10 equals to 50 millisecond. Right. And you're good. Number two. It to that, it to it. Calculate the frequency of the signal produced applied in the oscilloscope. So frequency of the signal. Frequency of the signal. So frequency is given by one upon time period, which is going to be one by 15 to 10 to the power minus three. Uh, you get this number. How much? How much do you get from here? Help me. I mean, 20 hertz. Uh, no, this one is 0 0.20. 20. 20. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. <laughs> Number three, with some signal applied to the oscilloscope, the time based setting is altered to 20 millisecond per centimeter. State what effect does this have on the stress of screen on the screen? With the same signal, sorry, Samma, with the same signal applied to the oscilloscope, which means we did not change the input. The time based setting is altered to 20 millisecond per centimeter, which means now each division for question number three, each division is representing how, how many milliseconds? 20 milliseconds. So, your time period is how much? 50 millisecond. If now each division represents 50, uh, 20 millisecond, then you're gonna have 50 millisecond covered by how many divisions? By more divisions. 2.5. Listen to the question once again and try to respond. Earlier, five divisions were covering 50 millisecond. Now, each horizontal segment is covering 20 millisecond. So how many divisions horizontally would you require to represent 50 millisecond? 2.5. You're gonna have 2.5 division. 2.5 divisions is gonna give us 20 millisecond. If you wonder how did I get this? Simple. 50 millisecond divided by 20 millisecond gives you 2.5. You don't have to show this calculation, and this is just something that I'm doing. So now what is gonna happen? Because we have increased the scale value, the graph is gonna become squashed. That's what I told you. I have been telling you from the very beginning that making the scale bigger will make the graph smaller. Making the graph smaller will expand, it will make the graph bigger. So what is going to happen because we have only changed the time base over here, the y axis peaks or the y axis bottoms, this amplitude of the graph would remain unchanged because we did not change the input signal. Neither did we change the y gain value because the question does not say anything about the y gain value change. So we have to assume it has been kept constant. So the, the question said, the, said what effect this has on the trace shown on the screen. They didn't say what changes observed. So they, said, they said what effect. So we have to write this answer in multiple parts. If I assume that this is one mark, this is one mark. So this is supposed to be uh, three mark. But to be honest, it could also be one, two, and two. The reason why am I saying one, two by two? Because for the second equation, this application of this formula should give you one mark. And getting the correct answer can give you the other mark. Okay, yeah. so, yes, so you can have two marks. So again, this, this last question can have three or can have two. Logically, it could, could be two. So that way I would write the answer for number three is gonna be like this. Number three, I'm gonna write uh, 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 the amplitude remains unchanged. You can also write same. I prefer the word unchanged. And then what? The distance between wave crests, uh, the trace, the distance between tra trace crests and trace drops increases. No. If it's around the graph of the wave Double the wavelength. Uh, Double number of Cycles observed. Bracket Ligbo graph become squeezed horizontally. Bracket Ligbo, I'm learning this up to make the examiner understand that I know what I mean. Why should there be double number of cycles? Because have a look. Currently, you are covering one cycle in five divisions. For the new time scale, you're going to be covering one cycle into 2.5 divisions. So your so the number of full cycles that we're seeing over here, you should be we'll double. exactly double the number of cycles. Because the entire graph is going to become squashed. Damanis, sir, we will see five cycles, right? 2.5, uh, about 2.5. 
2.5. No, I wouldn't say exactly 2.5. I mean, we have certain number, whatever that is, but we will be able to see exactly double number of that cycle. Yes, sir. Understood. Thanks. Sure. Bujha, can you ask a question, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sir. Yes. Hello. Sir, double number of uh, cycles. Apne je likhle. Ira na likhe je to unno kuchh rakte hain like je 2.5 space ni variable. Isi dekho lero. Ira maasi mein lahasa. Twice as many waves on the screen or length of wave, one wave a half, etc. They have used the word etc. Means that okay. So the way this question worked was two to one, which is not my assumption. Okay, works. I'm down. So since they have given the word etc., so you could have explained the change observed in other wording as well but your wording should always mean the exact information that the my scheme is also meaning so if you did write that if you did write that the horizontal distance between two consecutive crests becomes half compared to earlier that will also be uh, that will also be exactly equal because if the graphs become squashed then whatever the amount of gap that you have from the two crests that gap that gap would become what lesson Lesson by by what factor? By a factor of two. So if you did write that the distance between two consecutive crests becomes half, or if you write the distance between two consecutive troughs become half, you would also score the mark. That's the significance of the word etc., which means any logical further phrases meaning the same information is still eligible to score that mark. Abdul, I think I answered your question. Sir, I'm not. It's like waves. Now, boli ki pulses bolte pari. Uh, usually no, the way we actually define pulse, uh, I mean, pulses are defined to uh, some by something like this. Pulses are, pulses are something like that. It has a fixed number of cycle, which exists for a small duration of time. Then it doesn't exist for a longer duration of time. Then it happens again. Pulses are short bursts of high volume sounds, typically like beep, 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 beep like that. Or so if you think for, let's say, uh, for the uh, in the in the echo method or uh, using the clapping uh, for the measurement of the speed of the sound that is a pulse kind of sound oh that means when we cla clap that is a pulse sound because it does not last a long for a long time right exactly so in other words i can say that a siren can be considered to be a continuous sound whereas a uh, clapping can be considered to be a pulse sound if you remember this example you would be able to distinguish very easily Sir, can oscillation and vibration and waves mean the same thing? Or if they do not, then they can use the double band. Oscillation or vibration means the type of motion of the source. Wave is the disturbance that is created from that motion. So oscillation is the reason for which wave is created. Oscillation, vibration is the movement of the source. Wave is what? Wave is the passing on of the disturbance of the particles of the medium to the neighboring particles, right? Exactly, which is caused from the vibration of the source. Yes, sir. Understood. Sure. So that was that. So let's go have a look at the next question. Question number two. It says, figure seven by one shows a simple version of an electron beam tube. So we have. Uh, Okay, we have only one set of deflating plates. Okay, whatever. The filament is connected to a six volt power supply and there's a potential difference of 2000 volt. Please, just a second. Hold up a sec. Question of power supply. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Sorry, <clears throat> one of our honorable parents, I'm a data phone at Chatta number, Chatta number, Tinta number, continuous phone to the cell. Anyway, so question for us, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
ফ্রিকুয়েন্সিটেন <coughs> if we apply a small frequency alternating signal then the beam since we only have the y plates over here the x plates are not shown if you wonder why i mean this is just a specific question where they did not prefer to show the, you the x plates because they wanted to give you the exact answer for one set of plate motion these are the y plates because if these two plates are are subjected to a varying voltage then the beam electron beam is going to be moving up and down only slowly so we can say that the dot screen on the dot scene on the screen will be moving along the y axis by equal amount of up and down from the original position or from the from the origin of the graph system or axis system but it's going to move up and down slowly slowly because i mean you are not going to be able to see a line i mean i mean let me let me tell, tell you what i mean uh, if you if you turn up the book for the page that we have had the graphs someone tell me the page number Oh, I, I found it. Page number 383. Turn off the book at page number 383 and I'll talk about it. I saw. Hello. Pull up on. Are you at page number 383 of your federal book? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. what i wanted to talk about is that if you oh, i mean have a look at the fourth row third column 50 hertz ac peak voltage 20 volt and what you can see over here with the time base of you are having a vertical line do you see that only a vertical line yes, on sir. the y axis theek hai sir the reason we are seeing a vertical line is because 50 hertz means your cycle cycle duration is 0.02 second 1 by 50 which means it's gonna the, the that single dot is gonna go up and down 50 times every second so it's gonna moving really fast so that our eye would see that trace movement as a continuous line because our eye has a our brain has a duration of memory which we used in our earlier earlier cases so uh, uh, that's why it is appearing to be a line and also the fluorescent behavior for the screen fluorescent screen actually also helps because the i the fluorescent screen actually dims out it does not immediately go off it slowly dims out that's how the fluorescent would behave so because the frequency of this ac signal is pretty high we're going to see a line but this question especially says what have a look at the question once again in the in the in the in the video lecture have a look at this question the spot of light on the screen is seen, uh, sorry an alternating potential difference of very low frequency so this would mean that the dot that is should that would should be located at the center if uh, the uh, is going to move up and down but that movement is going to be extremely slow which means you would still be able to see the dot as a dot and be able to see the individual movement of the dot you would not be seeing up a vertical line would you no sir it will no, not sir. be a vertical line but it will be moving up and down with up and down a speed ইনফরমেশন Electrons are this is the uh, uh, observation. Then they go went for the explanation. Electrons deflected by the electric field or attracted to positive or repelled by negative. So if you either write this whole thing, or you can write this entire thing. I mean, this or is not optional between these two. This or is optional between these two phrases. What should you say? Sir, hello. ফিগার শোজ ওয়াই প্লেটস দিস ইজ গোনা কজ দা বি মুভ আপ এন্ড ডাউন 
স্যার কিন্তু আমরা কেন শুধু রিফ্লেক্টিং প্লেস লাগা কারণ তো ওয়াইল্ড প্লেস লাগা তো হচ্ছে মিস্টেক হচ্ছে আচ্ছা আচ্ছা ফাইন আই গেট দা পয়েন্ট আই ওয়াজ মিস্টেকেন সিন্স ইউ আস্ক মি দিস क्वेश्चन নাও সামথিং পপড ইন মাই ক্লিট ইন মাই হেড সো হচ্ছে দিস মাইট অ্যাজ ওয়েল বি দা সাইড ভিউ অফ দা অফ দা অফ দা অফ দা অফ দা সিআরও it might as well be the top view of the cro if it, if it is the side view then the trace should move vertically if it is the top view then these two are supposed to be explained now the question didn't specify which view is this did you understand what i say yes, sir. so this two, if these two deflecting plates are considered to be someone turned on their video and showing us a piece of piece of, uh, packet of paper and then just stopped it good <coughs> so uh the different the these two deflecting plates are in which direction they didn't specify because they didn't tell us in the question that which side which side when which side, which which orientation view is this if it is a horizontal orientation view then then these two are supposed to be y plates if this is a view, vertical view then those are supposed to be x plates exactly that's why they allowed either of those option but not both of them simultaneously i'm mistaken both of the options can be applicable because the uh, orientation of the view is not mentioned my bad abdullah tomar question clear korte parchi yes sir okay so have a look at this one this question says the fiat chip one shows a nitrical circuit and a cathode oscilloscope cro on fiat chip one draw the connections you would you would make to enable the cro to measure the potential difference pd across the resistor so first of all we have to do that so let me take this question over into the ms paint and start working from there so first of all the question is asking us to draw a connection to the y input so there are multiple different things that we can do let me show you what this sign mean you see that this input is labeled as a negative sign as an arc connection right yes sir which means in i mean i'm i'm trying to explain what 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 you should understand so let me draw this with let's say green and then i'm going to do that drawing with other another color so this means that this connection point will always be considered as a perfect zero hole no matter what so this connection could be positive or this connection could be negative depending on how you connect it and this trace is going to be for positive is going to be above the equilibrium line x axis and for a negative input over here it will be below this thing so we are considering one line to be negative now that's a very important information the way we usually draw the way we usually draw the connections is that we typically connect, connect the uh we typically connect the negative side with the one end and the positive side with the other end but this that's not that's not a essential thing but you have to have a look we are trying to measure the potential difference across the resistor right not across the bulb so you have to draw two connections from the two sides of the resistor to the two input connections so i can very well draw this one connection over here one connection over here now what i need you to understand if i do the connections like this these are the two drawings that you are supposed to i, I plan to do them in different color i might as well mamun mera hata rakho kala sa call dhore call dhore dekho ki obostha so you might as well prefer to draw these lines one of them to be here let's see if i draw it like this and the other one to be here now try to understand what is going to happen if i connect it over here this here is going to detect this location as zero volt but have a look at the battery orientation this is the positive side of the battery this is the negative side of the battery right yes, which sir. means the voltage is going to be same over here up to here there will be some voltage of over here there be a bit more positive over here and this is going to get back to the native side which means this left side should be the high voltage connection high voltage side as for the battery this right side should be the low voltage side ei part ta ki bujha jacche because ei positive theke komte komte voltage komte komte ekhane eshe voltage shesh hoye jabe bolo man ei information ta bujha jacche kina high ebong low er part ta bujha jacche kina yes sir acha so this would mean that since if we connect the connection if we connect the connections in this manner then the high voltage is defined as zero volt so the low voltage is actually applied to the input volt in this case your cro trace would be shown at the lower to the x axis but 
you are not introduced this figure before you do this figure. So for this question, you have the privilege to do this. You can do this and you score full mark for this. So that's one option to do this. Or another option can be another option can be uh, this is positive and negative. This is the high voltage side of the of the part. This is the low voltage side. So another option can be that we can connect the high voltage side to, to the Y to the to this end, end and we can connect the low voltage side to this end. Now have a look. I made an oval up over here. I did not give a blob. Did I give a blob? No sir. This is just an overlap. Overlaps are perfectly allowed. You cannot give a blob over here. Blob is zero cover. Because the blob would mean what? Junction. They are electrically connected. So that can go. Yeah, that would make a short circuit around the resistor. So that's not expected. So you can draw this way as well, or you can draw the other way as well. So either of them are equally acceptable. But if you connect it in this manner, in that case, your CRO trace would be shown up on the positive side of the x-axis. So it, so your trace would be above the x-axis bell. That's how the different traces can be produced. Now, kids, if you have questions, ask me. High and low voltage implication of Bujaga signal. Sir, high voltage left side, the high voltage count positive side, the left side, the Jekanteke, current ashe, our lamp, they don't jai on it slowly loses the voltage. That's why left side high voltage, right side low voltage, right? Also, I'm not both the the positive side is high voltage, negative negative side is low voltage. If the the yes, circuit we can. is flipped. yes, we can. Okay, sir. So, CRO screen is Oh, because this is a DC supply, so we're gonna essentially get a horizontal line because this voltage is not gonna vary. I mean. If, because we don't have any variable resistor, thermistor, or any other such component. So there are going to be a constant voltage difference across these two parts. So if you connect the circuit in this manner, then you're going to have a high voltage shown on the figure because the CRO is going to consider this one as a zero voltage and it's going to adjust the value of this voltage with respect to this one. So if you connect the positive high voltage side only to this input, it's going to consider the input is actually a positive input. So that's, that's when the trace is going to be shown on the above the X axis. Let's say the x axis is over here. Let's say I'm gonna draw the label the x axis with x axis with black. Equal lamp. So if I draw the x axis with black, let's this is our x axis right over here. So if you connect it in this manner, the trace will be seen above the line, above, above the x axis. Because now this one is a high voltage, this one is zero voltage. But if you connect it the other way around, then the trace should be shown at the bottom. But either case, you're gonna get horizontal lines because you, we are working with uh, DC voltage. Yes, sir. Amplitude is different. Amplitude is different. Amplitude is different. Why is the scale? Why is the value change? Why is the scale? 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 Why Hello, <laughs> Sir, if I have a voltage ring, I have a CRO. What do you think about the same thing? If you don't change these buttons, then changing, yes, the position, changing the position of these two wires is going to change the location of this wire, either above or below. But the spacing, number of divisions from the axis would be same. Yes, sir. It is yes, sir. Sure. So let's take a look at number B. Figure 7.2 shows the trace on the screen before and after the connections are made. So before the connection, it was at the x-axis, which is obvious. I mean, you can see a horizontal line. This means that the time base is turned on. That we understand. If the time base was not turned on, then we should we should be only seeing a dot. Because the trace is seen as a horizontal line, which means the trace the beam is constantly moving from left to right, which means for this straight line to be obtained, time base had to be turned on. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. So it says that the Weigand control is set for at two volt per two volt for each division on the screen. So each division represents two volts. Take the value of the PD across the resistor. This should be how much? Six. Six volt. Can I go no? Mane large and fast math nae. You count and you get value. Then it says the Weigand control is altered to four volt for each division on figure seven point two. Draw the new trace of six on the screen. Now, if you alter the trace for four volt per division, then how many divisions should you require to represent six volt? Because this output from the two side of the resistor, this six volt would still remain six volt, right? Yes, sir. This six volt is not changing because I, I don't know the question we are not doing. We are only changing the scale. So you are doubling the scale, so the graph should become half, which means the new trace should be located at half distance from the or from the earlier graph. For example, the this new trace, if I draw with dark blue. Should might as well be this one. Okay, how is it not hot? I'm how is it not that bad? I have started to use my large lighting pad, who who on tap today, so I feel pretty good about this. Sir. Yes. Sir, sir, jacket. That is. I think the most important is location. That change over, but tracing the same thing. You know, sir, just the. थ्रीटे Your top thing is gonna detect plus three volt, and the bottom is gonna be represented as zero volt. That can be one scenario, or in other case, your top can detect minus three volt, and the bottom would still gonna be zero volt. That's what you're gonna get. Zero will always be zero because this part is labeled to be kind of shown as ground. So compared to the zero, the other thing can be three more, or compared to the three, the other thing can be three less. A. Sure. Pull on. Sir. 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 So if you increase the scale value of the graph, you're gonna have the graph become squashed. Or in other terms, you can say that you are now going to represent four volt by each division. So if for the second second scenario, this much represents four volt, then my question is, how many divisions do you need to represent six volt? Four. Then here it should be eight. So six should be where? Got it, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Arik, one to puja ban jai gain mane ki. A gain mane ho chhe y axis se kato toko deviation hobe. Y gain y gain means the scale of the y axis. What does it mean in the mechanical system of the cathode ray oscilloscope? It means how yes. much how much deviation the stress is gonna move up and down for. Each individual voltage change of the input. How much deviation occurs for each individual change of voltage in in the y-axis, uh, y plates, right? Yes. Okay, sir. Sir, that means I'm not only y input that can change. Kuri the one of the properties of the y plates change to adjust the setting, right? Or something else. Oh, well, which thing? That means, sir, when we change the y input, we essentially change the y gain, and to do that, something must happen to the y plates to put it put the setting into action, right? Point of view. Uh, that usually uh, the way it works is that whenever we set the voltage at different values that proportionately changes the voltage available across the wire plates which is going to cause the electron beams to bend more 
to give you exactly equal number of deviation extra extra variation so i mean let's say if you change your y gain value from 2 volt to 4 volt that doesn't necessarily mean that the y plate actual inside the device the actual y plate voltage is increased from 2 volt to 4 volt that doesn't necessarily mean that because how much y voltage is y voltage exit values should be to make the electron beam go up by two division or two four division doesn't essentially have to be two volt to four volt that is highly dependent on how long your electron beams are how close they are placed how strong the electric field is and so many other factors but essentially what do it mean that if you double the scale then the amount of voltage in your y players compared to earlier would also become double that ratio would be same but the Mm, actual magnitude of difference might doesn't have to be same and all of these are pre-built into the cathode oscilloscope right yes with the additional set of circuit board and everything which is not shown for your uh, for your simplified diagram that you are supposed to understand okay sir thanks sir. sure Bolo. sir input at the y plate you the voltage yes always also, uh, frequency the key Frequency to the high, then we have to use a converter which can convert this frequency information into voltage information, which is called a microphone. If you want to detect a sound, then you have to detect the sound using a microphone, which will convert the vibration energy of the air into electrical voltage pulses. Then you can feed the voltage into the oscilloscope. You mm -hmm. can't directly feed the, that thing into that thing. I um, mean, you cannot directly feed frequency or vibration into the oscilloscope. Oscilloscope has to be always fed some sort of voltage information. Got it. Thank you. So, any further question from this from this one? Sir. Okay, never mind. So, we'll move on. So, uh, this is a question. Blah 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 Question borrow. An AC generator produces alternating current. Draw a level diagram of a simple AC generator. Damn it. You don't, so. you don't ever have to draw this. This is a very old question. Don't even try to learn this. In worst case scenarios, they might actually give you a figure where you might have to label different parts, which is not a very big deal. But you don't, I mean, whenever you'll have the worksheet, do not try to do this. You don't have to be able to do this. Number two, explain how the current is generated. That's the theoretical question for the uh, how the generator works, which you should know. Uh, if you forgot it, or if you never have done our classes, you can look at the uh, electromagnetism chapter uh, videos where it is well explained. Uh, B number, the output of the generator is, conduct, is connected to the terminus of a cathode oscilloscope. Figure 11.1 shows the trace produced on the screen of oscilloscope. So we have this kind of a trace available for whatever the setting that we have chosen for time base and for the y, y, y gain. So we have this kind of very small trace at the bottom of the screen. Question number one says, each vertical division on the scale is, uh, if the scale in, in 11.1 represents two volts. So that is, so the Y gain is two volts per division. Let's give how you do check that one vertical division is represent two volts. So this is a question about checking your, checking your whole, uh, checking your CRO, whether the CRO actually is telling you the truth that what it is supposed to show you as each individual division for for, for height is eight logically acceptable. I mean, is it is it true? This question is about checking whether the cathode oscilloscope is accurately calibrated or is it measuring without any error. That's about this question. Now, one of the simplest way to do this thing is that one of the simplest thing, thing to do this thing that we take a two hole battery and connect it across the uh, connect, it, connect it with the Y inputs. And that should give us a <coughs> deviation of exactly one division above or below. So if you use a, use a known battery that you know for a fact that is two volt and connect it across uh, and use it as the Y inputs, your trace, central trace should move up by exactly one division. And that proves that your scale is actually correct. Now you don't necessarily have to write it as uh, only uh, two volt value. You can always go for multiple of that thing. For example, you can also write, hear me out this part, if we apply, uh, if you connect a four volt supply across the, uh, if, you, if, you, if you connect a four volt supply, uh, a four volt supply or four volt battery, you can write battery. If you connect a four volt battery uh, across the, how do you connect it across? 
<laughs> if you enter four volt four volt battery across the Y input, across the Y input, then the trace would be seen to move by two vertical divisions. Or you can write six, then you have to write three, or you can write ten, then you have to write five. So whatever the number of voltage that you are gonna apply, uh, the division should move up by exactly what. Sir, I will give you Sir, I didn't get that. Why does it move by two, one division if we apply a two volt cell across the Y plane? It doesn't have to, but it should. If it does, then we know that option B1 is a valid thing. B1 a question about I don't understand the question of B1. What are you trying to achieve from question B1? Butchi, sir. So we are trying to prove that the device is actually represent to wall for every division. So we do not know that, but if we bring about an ac accurate source that we know to have a value of two volt and count it across the Y input for the cathode oscilloscope. Then that yeah, then if the trace shown in the screen also moves for one division, then we can assert yes, it is a, a two volt per division scale. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, two to the the tracing figure eleven point one is too small and is at the bottom of the screen. Adjustments were made to the oscilloscope control to produce trace in figure eleven point two. So the question essentially says, what are state and explain the adjustment made to the oscilloscope controls? Explain how the beam of electrons produced inside the capsule oscilloscope. So it's a theoretical question. Let's talk about this one. Have a look. So what are the changes that we have made? First of all, we have brought the entire graph so that its origin is so it is equally distributed on the x-axis so we have made you have lifted up the graph from its position to the upper which means you have to use the y shift button that's the part that i did uh, i think i did not cover for the face of the oscilloscope the x shift and the y shift buttons are buttons which can allow you to move the entire trace without shrink, without shrinking it or without expanding it the 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 entire spacing and the shape would be exactly intact, but you can move the entire graph along y along y axis by using y plates. So by using y shift or along x axis by using the x shift. So first we're gonna do that. So my answer is gonna be the first point number one. Uh, we used uh, y shift to bring the graph equally distributed along the uh, 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 equally distributed on opposite sides of the x axis. Or you can write on opposite side of the time base, which also works. Act. The second thing is that how did they become so big? Now, try to understand the scene graph is small in amplitude. The expected graph, which is given in the option number two, is a much bigger amplitude graph. So you basically made what change to the available graph? Did you make it bigger or did you make it smaller? Y gain. Y input. Y gain. Y gain. So tomorrow, achha, I'm both the same. I'll help you. Observe what change happened to the graph. Did the graph on the y-axis become longer or smaller? Longer. Longer. It became longer, which means the scale had to be made smaller. Smaller scale gives you longer graph and vice versa. Yes. So the explanation would be since the since the uh, since the uh, since the uh, amplitude of the graph increased, so the y gain was decreased. In a chart explanation. The third point is that we can also see that the horizontal spacing has also been increased. Have a look. In our given graph, it's very difficult to calculate the number of divisions it takes for one full cycle, but we can actually give it a try. Let's try to find out a good cross point somewhere. So I can see a good cross point, let's say over here. You see that for the crest? This is a, this is a pretty good cross point. Yes, sir. Yeah. I mean, if you keep on observing, you'll see that the graph is the crests are slowly moving to the right. So you do not essentially have a very good cross point anywhere on the left. So we are practically clueless. Okay, let's assume that in one division we have only two cycles. Let's assume that one cycle, two cycles. So let's say in one division, country we are covering two cycles. But what is happening over here? In two divisions, we are covering one cycle. 
So did the graph become horizontally expanded or it become squashed? So if we want to expand the graph, what do you have to do for the scale? Make it big or make it small? Is the time base? Is the time base exactly? So what 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 should be changed to the what change should be brought about to the time change? Should be smaller. Increased. Time base should be smaller. Increased. Time base should be smaller so that your graph becomes expanded. No. So in this case, both of your y gain and time base had to be decreased so that the graph become uh, bigger in amplitude along y axis. And it also become more. It also becomes wider, slash more spaced apart on the x-axis. That's how I would write my answer. The first one, uh, we use the x shift to bring the graph above, so that it is equally spaced on the top and the bottom side of the origin of the x-axis. X-axis is only one, only time base, because zero screen x-axis is inaccessible. Now we call it time base. Or if you have difficulty to understand, I can show you. What, I, I can actually show you what do I, what do I mean by this. I, 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 I'll show you. Let's say the graph was initially here, right? Using the Y shift, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move it right here. Uh, I should choose transparency region. Yes. So we should move it up exactly up over here. That's the first thing we're going to do. Then we're going to start reducing the scale values. Uh, scale, scale values. Y gain and the time base uh, values so that we can make the graph become bigger. Cats are very good squashables. I'm not sure if that's a word. But that's a good word to describe a cat. Acha, a per question, acha, question, acha, ekhane. If you go further down the line, blah, 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 blah. Acha, question number six is a good question. Question number six is a power show. Try to generate ideas. How are you going to answer the question? Think about it. Oops, 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 oops. No, 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 no. Remove it by a small amount, yes. So, read question number six and see if you can sort this out. At least try to make an answer in your head with logics that you understand. Any idea? Uh, still there will be electron flow. Isn't Why reversing the battery has no effect on the electron beam? Why? Uh, electron to ask the filament to still flow to what say. Often a filament would be heated and the electron flow would occur. Exactly. The source A does not control the electron beam. The source A is exclusively needed for heating the filament. So whether you connect it this way or you reverse the source, that current flow across that filament cycle would still be making the filament hot. As a result, your thermonic emission would still happen without miss. Then it says number B, the connections on battery B are reversed. Stating so what effect does this have on the electron beam? So if you reverse B, what's gonna happen? Sir, it is going to move uh, into the opposite direction to the left, not to the right. Away from the anode, right? It will be moving to the left or it will be moving away from the anode and at the electron beam is not produced. Yes, you, have to, you, have to, you have to finish your sentence by that. No electron beam is produced. Good. So yeah, this is a good question. So let's give it a try. Question of power show, if I'm going to go a graph actually like that. Poro, I'll help you. Don't worry. 
क्वेश्चन आगे पूछो एवं खाता कलम नहीं आवश्यक कारण किसका क्वेश्चन करा लगते हैं Question number four. Have a look. What is the amplitude of the uh, supply voltage? Four. Four, four volts. volts. The Y gain is two volt per division, which means amplitude should be represented by how many divisions? Two divisions. Two divisions. Two, two divisions. Which means on the along on above the x-axis, there should be two divisions above. It should be two divisions below. That's the first thing. So which means our crest should be uh, uh, drawn along this line. Our trough should be drawn along this line. A point to take us again. Yes, yes, sir. It's very easy to do. Okay, fine. Yeah. The next thing that we need to find out is that how many divisions should we use to draw one cycle? One cycle means one cycle means one full cycle. One cycle means what? Say that's why I mean. It's a discussion that's important. That's why we're going to question about question. To hold, Koro. So. To do this calculation, let's have a look. The question says that the alternating source has a frequency of 25 hertz, and then we have the value of time base. So using the frequency is very difficult to draw. So let's convert this information into time period first. So if we calculate the time period, how much should this be? 0.04. One by 25. That is 0.04 second. So have a look. The time period is 0.04 second, and what is and how much is the time base division? Time time base. Zero point zero one second. Point zero one seconds. So one cycle should take how many horizontal divisions? Four. Four. One cycle should take four horizontal divisions. A point to buchega se kena. Yes, sir. So I'll go. I'll I'll quote the information once again. The amplitude should be two divisions above and below. And uh, and one cycle should be drawn in four cycle. So if one cycle, so. If one cycle is drawn in, uh, let's say this is going to be the start of our graph, and this is going to be the end of one cycle. So half cycle should be here. So the first half cycle crest should be located here. Do you agree? Yes, sir. So I'm going to try and plot these points, and you please try to logically understand why these points points are acceptable. If you have any question, you ask me. I'll explain. I'm just labeling the points over here. And then I'm gonna draw the graph in a bit. The reason I'm plotting the points is because you should always try to do this. Once you have the points plotted properly, drawing a graph is very simple. But if you cannot plot the points properly, you're gonna always suck at graphs. Can we all appreciate? Sorry. Sorry. Bolo, bolo. Sir, exercise to chapter division cannot be Because, both the because. The time period of this of, of the of this of this of this information is supposed to be zero point zero four second, hmm. and the the time base is zero point one zero zero one second per division, which means and on the horizontal division, this must represent zero point zero one hmm. per division. So how many of these lines do you need to cover for zero point zero four? Chapter point five. Huh? Zero zero four five. That is it. I wrote second, second. It is second. Oh, second. Oh, okay. Yes, the chapter second. Do you understand? Yes, sir. A point gula coordinate gula kamne break kuro. Sir, ekishwa bujhega sir. Convinced? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you are convinced about this one, I'm gonna try and draw this graph. So let's see if I can draw this in a single stroke. Might be a bit of a difficult job. I might choose a different color, green maybe. And this is supposed to go up to here. So it should come down. Oh no! This is difficult. Okay, I'll have to do my magic in a different way. Okay.
I hope it works. Yeah, almost. Almost. Yes, see. almost, almost. Uh, but you get the point, right? Yes, sir. It's nearly okay. I'm satisfactory. So, yeah. Disregard this part. So, that's how your graph should look like. Could you call like, say, calculation? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Bujarat, say. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Anyone else? If you have any question, please, please respond. Sir? Yes. Uh, I get question at uh, Yachiro. Bolo? Uh, I get question at Yachiro. I get question at Yachiro. No, sir. Achha. Bolo, bita bolo. Negative terminal, positive terminal, flip by the another another one. Cathode is there, na? Yes. So when electron beam are, I mean, actually, I mean, attracted, is there, na? So I mean, beam are pushed, is there, na? Because electron is pushed to the left, not attracted to the right. Yeah, bolo. Sir, positive terminal, which is flip by the other, that is, that filament, that is, that is, that is, that is, Filament can affect cool way. Filament can affect the cool The thermonic emission cannot happen continuously. Because for the thermonic emission to happen continuously, the filament is going to lose electrons. By providing the B source, which is a high kilovolt source, which has a huge difference of electron and electron numbers on, on, its, on its opposite sides, we actually provide the miss, missed out electrons over here by from this negative side. This thing actually covers up for the missing electrons from here, which essentially get absorbed over here, most of them, and eventually it comes down to hit this point. So this what this thing practically fills up the miss uh, fills up the missing electron that is going out from the filament uh, in the process of thermonic emission. So if you revert this process, that supply of electron would not be available, which means your thermonic emission would start, but after a while it will not continue because that coil will become highly positive by losing all the electrons. डायग्राम <laughs> If we connect the B source in the way it is shown to be connected in the figure, in that case, that negative end of the source B will replenish those electrons. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir, jeta hoy filament electron loose korbe, most of which will be catched by the anode and then sent back to the filament. But some of it goes to the fluorescence and skin screen and get lost. Tale gradually to shomosto electron shesho jabe. Eventually, if we had a very small electron source in our as a source B, but that's not the case. Source B is maintained at a kilovolt level, which means the availability of electron compared to the number of electrons that we are losing is extremely large. So, if you think, if you know, if I if I validate your question, that uh, the answer to your question is a yes, but the amount of time that you would actually have to run this oscilloscope continuously might be a couple of months. And once that does happen, we can simply replace the cell at P. Yes. I mean, the battery at P, right? Yes, we can. Yes. Would you say? Yes, sir. Sure. Or another thing that we can always do, which is actually a pretty logical idea, is that we can essentially we can essentially do this. Try to understand the effect of this thing. If I do this, then should there be any trouble? Try to understand or speculate the implication of this art connection at the position that I'm showing you. 
স্যার তাহলে যখন ইলেকট্রনস ডেফিসিয়েন্ট হয়ে যায় মোর ইলেকট্রনস কাম फ्रॉम দা আর্থ এন্ড রিপ্লেনিশেস ইট সো देयर ইজ নো নিড ফর রিপ্লেসমেন্টস রাইট এক্স্যাক্টলি এন্ড দিস ইজ এক্স্যাক্টলি হোয়াট এন আ প্র্যাকটিক্যাল সিআরও ইজ ইকুইপড উইথ হুইচ ইজ নট শোন টু ইওর সার্কিট ফর দা সেক সেক অফ দা সিম্পলিসিটি স্যার আমার আরেকটা প্রশ্ন ছিল স্যার হোয়াট ইজ আর্থ লাইক is a implying the soil of our planet or something which is not in our syllabus the earth connection is considered to be such a big object that has enough electrons within itself that taking a small portion of it or giving a small portion of it giving some additional electron to that object does not practically change its voltage from neutral sir is this it does not have to be the physical earth for your experiment environment it can be any object that has a large number of electrons for your experimental setup for example for the case of the for the for the for experiments of of gold electroscope our body can work as an earth connection it doesn't have to be physical earth for a car battery the chassis metal, metal chassis of the body of the car body that can work as a uh, as an earth connection it doesn't have to be physically connected with the earth don't no it doesn't have to be it just have to have enough free electrons so that a bit of addition or a bit of a subtraction does not practically change its voltage from zero yes sir understood thanks sure uh, this is a nice question there are a lot of calculation over here so i'll take out this question and we have some other stuff over here as well about the magnetic field which is a bit quite a good question so let's have a look at this question have a look poro poro one a thin metal filament j pora ache ekta korbe ekta zoom kore den ekta zoom to kora jabe na ekta zoom kore question baat kore jabe acha tale ekhan theke poro ekhane dynamic field zoom kore ekhan theke question ta poro তারপর আমরা क्वेश्चन আমরা সলভ ওখানে গিয়ে করব क्वेश्चनটাকে পুরো क्वेश्चनটাকে পড়ো ট্রাই টু জেনারেট সাম আইডিয়া ইন ইওর হেড দ্যাট হোয়াট 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 কুড পসিবলি বি ইওর রেসপন্স क्वेश्चनটা পড়ো আস্তে আস্তে মাউন ইজ অসাম 
since I do not prefer to order burgers, so we bought Kazi Farm burger patties, and now things are in motion. We bought mustard sauce and mayonnaise and turmeric sauce from Ruchi. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, did you read the question? Yes, sir. Okay. So, kon part ko difficult mano sa walo? A bar ba? Yes, sir. Yes. B bar ba? B two bar. Acha. B part ba bar bolle. B a one bar ba? इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विल मूव फ्रॉम द वैक्यूम थ्रू द वैक्यूम फ्रॉम जे टू के आई मीन फ्रॉम थ्रू द वैक्यूम मेंशन करते हैं बिकॉज़ दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विल नॉट गेट एब्सॉर्ब बाय द एटमॉस्फेयर बिकॉज़ देयर इज नो एटमॉस्फेयर एंड दोस एंड सो बिकॉज़ द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स कैन कंप्लीट द सर्किट बाय मूविंग फ्रॉम जे टू के बिकॉज़ ऑफ थर्मोनिक एमिशन दिस सर्किट इज गोना रेजिस्टर अ करंट सो देयर इज थ्री मार्क आंसर टू दिस वन सो लेट्स बी लुक एट द मार्क स्कीम व्हाट द मार्क स्कीम इज अबाउट আচ্ছা আমরা পুরো কোশ্চেন আলাপ করে নেব তারপর মাসিং একবার দেখব সো এটা হচ্ছে এই পার্টের आंसर যে এখানে থার্মোডাইনামিক এমিশনের জন্য ডিউ টু থার্মোডাইনামিক এমিশন দা দা ফ্রি ইলেকট্রনস উইল বি এবল টু মুভ फ्रॉम জে টু কে সো উই ক্যান মেক দিস হ্যাপেন পর এখন এখন না রাখো এর পর বলছে হচ্ছে নাম্বার 2 দা স্টেট হোয়াই দা গ্লাস ভেসেল মাস্ট বি ইভাকুয়েটেড সো দা গ্লাস ভেসেল মাস্ট বি ইভাকুয়েটেড সো দ্যাট দা ফ্রি ইলেকট্রনস ডু নট কোলাইড ডু নট কোলাইড উইথ দা অ্যাটমোস্ফেয়ারিক পার্টিকলস বিকজ দ্যাট ওয়ে দে উইল গেট অ্যাবজর্ব এন্ড নট বি এবল টু রিচ দা অ্যানোড কে Chita will say a uh, one pole of a bar magnet is brought close to the side of the S of the glass vessel, and the current registered by the milliampere decreases. Explain why this happens. Now, to understand this idea, I'd like to take your attention to a very specific page number, which would be, which would be what? Can I find this? I I, I hope to find this, but I'm not sure if I can find this. Okay. Uh, okay. Please have a uh, please turn up your book at page number three hundred eighty-one, and look up to the figures, figure twenty-four point three and twenty-four point four. Take a look at those. I mean, a page below. Tomorrow they get put the whole syllabus. Besh age. So definitely, tomorrow post. So I believe in you. So since none of you ask me any questions about this, so I do understand that you have no confusion about these figures. Just have a look at these figures, and see if you can make sense of the information that is given in these figures. Look, sir. Which figure is it? What are you talking about? Huh? Which figure are you talking about, sir? Page number three hundred eighty-one. Do you figure that, sir? Oh, yes. Both of them. So the key information that they are distinguishing is that for the for an electric field the path will be parabolic, and for a magnetic field the path is going to be circular. That's the first definition. But for either of these electric field applied, the beam is going to move from its original direction. So if we do apply a magnet, perpendicular in the path of the perpendicular in the in the perpendicular orientation of the direction of the electron, they are not going to move in one side. So the number of electrons. the number of electrons that would be otherwise reaching to the cat, uh, anode k would not be same if we apply a magnetic field across it because it by because of the effect of the magnetic field the as the electrons will move through the magnetic field and they are going to cut across the magnetic field lines they are going to be experiencing a force which you can find out by fermi's left hand rule and they will be bending to one direction so some of the electrons will be uh, uh, pushed upwards or downwards or something like that i mean upwards or downwards depending upon your pull So in this case, they have already said that we have introduced the south pole over here, right? This is the south pole. So assume there is a magnet over here, where the, this is the south pole. Obviously, there will be a relevant north pole. So if there is a south pole, kids, now I want you to tell me if this is a south pole, in which direction these electrons are going to bend? As the electrons are going to journey from J to K, 
by the presence of a south pole over here, in which direction will these electrons bend? Circular. That's the description of the path. I mean, I ask the direction of the bending. Upwards. Should it be upward, oh, yeah, upwards, upward, out of the page or into the page? Upward. Don't guess. Try to use Fleming's left hand rule. Take some time. Put some effort. You can be mistaken, but first be eligible to do the mistake. Guessing is not the eligibility. Sir, first of all, is it like the uh, front view or the side view? Good question. I'll help you. Side view. I can, I can help you to answer that question in a very specific manner. Okay, I have the question over here. Or I want you to understand, this is the South Pole. So the, assume the magnetic field that exists within this, within this, within this thing in this direction. The ball is South Pole, side S works. Okay, assume this is the South Pole. I am defining this to be the South Pole. Take my word. Now, in which direction the elect these electrons which are traveling from J2K, they will bend? Into the page, key. Out. Into the page. Yeah. All right. I'll I'll explain. It cannot be upwards or downwards. It cannot be because as charged particles cut across the magnetic field lines, they may bend. They bend perpendicular to their to the magnetic field lines. That's what the whole idea of Fleming's left hand rule is all about. So that's the first thing. And the next thing that I want you to understand, the next thing that I want you to understand, in this case, the electrons are moving like this. So unless I'm gonna label these electrons as orange. So the electrons are moving this direction, right? So what would be the conventional current for this flow of electrons? Ulta. So the conventional current that we can consider for these electrons which are jumping through this gap should be considered in the other way. Do you agree on this information? Yes, sir. Everyone. Try to understand. Yes, sir. So flowing this way, can't do And I can do flames left hand apply coro. Try to aim your index finger downwards. Try to aim your middle finger to the left. So what is the direction of your thumb? Towards me. And out out of the page. Out of the page. This should be out of the page. Which means some electrons are gonna miss that plate compared to the earlier scenario. Which makes the resistor current to become smaller. Now this practice that I, I, I made you to about the famous left hand rule is not essential to solve the problem. I just wanted to, to do some brain exercise for, on a previous topic, but that's the explanation that some of the electrons will bend uh, because of the effect of the uh, magnetic field lines as the electrons cut across the magnetic field lines. So all the electrons would not be reached to plate K as they used to reach. But some of them miss it due to the direction change caused by the cutting of the magnetic field. Exactly. Don't worry about that. But the explanation is that the physics behind them is discussed. Then the question number four is the terminus of the 1.5 volt, 5 kilovolt power supply are reverse. Explain how this affects the current in the millimeter. If these two are reversed, what should happen to the millimeter current reading? If the current in the millimeter is positive, it becomes negative. If it is negative, it becomes positive. No. No, think about it. Sir? Sir, I represented the electron flow by the orange arrow. I represented the conventional current by the brown arrow. Sir, current millimeter reading key zero Yes, that's the correct response. Can you do it? Sir, count out. I'm not the one reverse code. It's on K R. Anu Thakena. Anu Dhoja J. 
তাই যদি ইলেকট্রন বাইর হয়ে যায় অ্যাট্রাক্ট হবে জে এর প্রতি তা দ্যাট मींस देयर আর নো ইলেকট্রনস পাসিং फ्रॉम জে টু কে নো কারেন্ট প্রডিউসড সো আওয়ার সাবিস সেড ইজ ভেরি কারেক্ট সো ডিড ইউ আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড হোয়াট হি সেড if you reverse this connection if this one becomes then this one will become positive then the k will become negatively charged so this will practically repel the electrons which are produced by the thermonic emission in the coil so electrons are not going to be attracted anymore so there is no reasons for the electrons to travel this way if the if the electrons do not get absorbed in the k point there is no reason that we should get resistor current over here sir it boosts the pyramid if we reverse this source this will become negative and this will become positive this negative will make this one negative so all the electrons that will be produced in this coil because of thermonic emission now they will not be attracted anymore repel and those will be really repel so the electrons are going to be pushed towards this direction so no electrons are going to cover this distance and get absorbed over here so since no electrons is reaching over here this current is basically zero so this current is also zero zero yes yeah. yes sir thank you sure acha amra charta question alap kola let's have a look at the mark scheme to just to make sure that uh, the wording is correct eta chilo koto number question number 8 check out the answers kids uh, you should be able to understand dekho kon part ta bujha achche na go to the mark scheme If you have any or confusion of any of the part, tell me about it. what happens when the electrons lose energy they lose voltage right okay पढ़ो एफिशियम capability in electromagnetism question is sort of like binary code it's totally zero or it's one there is no in between you either can do this or you cannot do this at all ki bujla sir amra question online e sir ekto to marchi rakhen no it's okay you can you can still have help from me that's what i am here for but you have to acknowledge the fact that you need to bolster your capability in certain part of the syllabus oitu ektonoch korle hobe baki tomader ja help korbo shobai koro but you have to acknowledge that 
yes, I need to put in some extra effort for those chapters that I know for a fact which I'm weak at. Exam is ki bujhat se shobar? Yes, sir. Pora hoy se shobar? Process koro. One more minute. Then we'll turn over. Understand what just happened? I'm a table put at a bar, so that as the other circle is zooming zoom out. Why? Hot damn! I love soil, sir. I mean, literally, platonic, but true. Definitely, he is my technical guru. I mean, yes. how did you So, sir, convinced me to buy the bigger right pad, which I did buy on his because he convinced me about it. And I know that anything that so sir opines me is gonna, I'm gonna do that in the long run. Even if I don't do this now, I'm gonna do this sometime later. That has been happening for the since I have known him. So I was convinced that, okay, fine, I'll buy this. This was an opportunity, so I bought it. It has been in bad condition for like two weeks now, two weeks, two weeks now. I mean, ask class nine class first cool eight up Bujailam and I showed you that big image that I did take your classes on. And this has so many different things that you can do. I mean, to be honest, I feel empowered. That's the word I'm going to use. Sir, so sir, competent on the John and Kami, Deke, Tagai Chilla, Mamma, there is almost a student at Jonak a control panel, Banya, and Microsoft Word. Yes, yes. He is amazing. I mean, so the way so sir works that irrespective of the possible or pragmatic output of a certain uh, system, he's gonna perf he's gonna bring a system or a certain effort to its perfection level. And yes. then he's gonna execute. Not like me. He is like a super perfectionist. And I'm blessed for him. Uh, anyway, so we'll move on from to the next question. Uh, next question is uh, Yep. Read this question. Try to speculate. How do you solve this? Sir, time answer Y plate is off. That's why. Y plate is off and time base is on. Do you have a Now, Y plate is off now. Sorry. Why plate set a value? Thakle, who can So we just have a look and look at this potential level circuit. What is the voltage between these two points? Sir, so zero. Yes, Fardin Dako. The voltage between these two points should be how much? Oh, yeah. Zero. Zero, huh? So basically, it, there is no difference in the voltage input value of these two points. That's why this is showing zero reading. Because this, I mean, that this, this, what this shows over here is basically the difference of these two point voltages. This is the reason one of the other cathode oscilloscope was labeled that the bottom one was connected to ground. Mujayase. All right, number two.
আমি ফারদিন আই নিউ উড লাইক টু ইলাবোরেট সিন্স দা কোশ্চেন অন নাম্বার 1 অলরেডি সেজ দ্যাট দা টাইম বেস সেটিং ইজ 1 মিলিসেকেন্ড পার ডিভিশন দে হ্যাভ অলরেডি মেনশন দিস এন্ড এক্সপ্লেইন হোয়াই দেয়ার টেস্ট ইজ হোয়াই দেয়ার সো এসেনশিয়ালি দে হ্যাভ অলরেডি টোল্ড ইউ দা আইডিয়া অবাউট টাইম বেস ইউ ক্যান নট রাইট দিস দ্যাট দা টাইম বেস ইজ অন এন্ড স্কোর এসপে টু স্কোর দিস ওয়ান আই হ্যাভ টু সে দ্যাট ফর দা পজিশন অফ দা স্লাইডার এট পজিশন পয়েন্ট এট 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 দা এন্ড এন দা ভোল্টেজ অ্যাক্রস দা টু কানেকশন পয়েন্টস ফর দা ওয়াই ইনপুটস ইজ জিরো So you have to talk about the voltage available between these two points because the time base information is already mentioned. So you cannot uh, expect a mark to obtain from the time base. So you have to talk about the voltage available over here. That's the important bit. Buchuki. The information that is already provided, you cannot expect to score a mark to repeat that information. You have to write the other form of the information which also affects the reading. থার্ড ডিভিশন ঠিকাছে other you can write this or to be honest you can also draw a line over here and you can also say that it becomes uh, stationary at the level drawn in the figure that also works if you, if you're forwarding it gives you a bit of a trouble you can do that actually although the question doesn't ask you to draw but you can draw over here and refer to that the wagon setting is now changed to one volt per division the test disappears from the scan state why this happens how do you answer this one sir when it is changed to 1 volt per division it disappears because the uh, the cathode oscilloscope does not have enough enough space to display the information in this setting because it goes way further up to the sixth division which is not in the cathode oscilloscope above point so if we are sending the y gain was sitting at 1 volt per division to cover a total 6 volt supply voltage we need six divisions above the x axis which is not available but you can see you have to understand these things are happening consequently so first this was at the bay, at the at the x axis then you do this one so it reaches up over here then then you immediately then you don't change anything over here so currently the slider is located over here then you simply change the y gain into one volt per division and the and the trace simply vanishes so what actually happens in that scenario i mean if i just try to show you in a different figure just to make sense with you let me choose a different figure so that i can make sense with you so when that will be happening when that will be happening the beam would be bending like this actually ami bhul achi eto lomba jo hai jodi bhai bhitor to ben hoy na let's say let's say the y plates are located here ekhane ekta y plate and ekhane ekta y plate let's say these are the two y plates that we are going to have they should be equal length and equal distance apart okay fine so now the bending is going to happen something like this from this point onwards the the line should the electro should come same horizontal line as it enters the electric field is going to start to bend 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 and then as it goes out of the out of, out of the out of the plate it should essentially start to go in a straight line so bending to should have a a rectangular space to whether bending to have as it goes out then it should maintain a straight direction but it's going to touch the axis over here so you shouldn't be seeing it on the fluorescent screen you'll miss miss it out bujhatse bolo one response karo yes sir baki response karo Yes, 
So that's pretty much it about the compilation that I have. But once again, these questions are only compiled up to, uh, May, uh, I think, uh, S12. So you have a lot of questions that definitely you can find out from the later years. So if we, uh, I, I definitely plan to uh, solve quite a good number of question papers once we are done with the syllabus. So when we'll do that, we will essentially come across new questions from the recent years as well. So that's pretty much it for the cathode oscilloscope uh, paper two solution. Uh, it's 918. Many of the kids have already left for, so I believe they have other classes to start from 9 p.m. So for today's class, I'm going to finish it. Uh, next class, uh, first thing we're going to do is the MCQ paper of this cathode oscilloscope. I'm going to, I'm going to share you the, all the PDFs and the minor schemes in your messenger group after just a while. I need to do some tweak in this way in, in the PDFs. And uh, so we're going to start in the next class. We'll, we'll, we'll start with the cathode MCQ. We're going to finish it up. And then we're going to get back to the light paper from where we actually come to the cathode discussion. Okay, sir? Yes, sir. Yes. So, atomic physics discussion covered the issue? Lighter, the lighter paper will be discussed on the issue of the atomic physics. So, we have to do the lighter paper 2, I believe, right? Yes, sir. Paper 1, what do you say? Yes. So, paper 2, we have to do the atomic physics. We have to do the sound port, the light mode. I mean, light, I mean, bottom line, lighter paper to paper one, altogether, put a wave here, what should discuss on the issue of the atom phase. So it's going to be pretty soon. Okay. Thank you, kids, very much. Good night. Good night, sir. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum. Bye-bye.